A footer is any data you like to repeat at the bottom of every slide in the presentation, like page numbers, date, and time, or any text that you want to add. But when it comes to headers, well, they're not for slides. They're on printed materials such as handouts and note pages that we'll go over a little bit later on in this video. But for right now, let's come up and insert a footer for all the slides throughout the presentation, like a page number or a slide number. So when I get to that slide, I could see, oh, I'm on slide. Well, if I come to the slide during the presentation, it would have a three there. And I'm like, oh, okay, I've got no more to go. That's the end. Let me come back up here, select slide one, and then come up here, click on the insert tab, go to the text group, and there you go, header and footer, click on it. And header and footer window, we have it for the slide, and we have notes and handouts. Now for the slide, everything here is going to be at the bottom of each slide for the notes and handout, which we'll cover in just a minute. Well, it can be at the bottom, but also in the header. So you won't find the header on the slide, just only on notes and handouts, printed materials. So to keep it simple, let's start with the slide here. What do we want to include on the slide? Now, come over here in the preview window, and you see that little rectangle box up at the top? That represents the title, and then down below the body of the slide, the content. And then below that, what you want at the bottom of each slide, or in the footer section, and you get these three little boxes. And those are representative of what you select over here. So which one represents what? Because, you know, one of them is going to be over on the far left-hand side of the slide, one in the middle, and one to the far right. Just go ahead and check it. When you check it, ooh, that lets us know what's happening over here. When you check it in the preview, it's all colored in. So you got the date and time. You can do it automatically. So every time you open up the presentation, it'll update to today's date. And you can change that and say, well, I just don't want today's date. I would like the date and time. You can select that. And then you can change the language. You can also, instead of just having it always update automatically when you open up the presentation, you can have it fixed and just say, okay, this is when I created the presentation and type in a number. I'm going to go ahead and have it done automatically. And then for, well, and I don't want the time in there. Let's just do it in that format. And then down below the slide number, so it's going to be one of these two boxes here. Guess which one? Well, it's a number. It should be pretty small, right? Right. So let's go ahead and check that, and it fills it in over to the far right, the number. Yay! And then you can have something in the footer. Let me go ahead and check the box, and then down in the box below, go ahead and type something that you would like to appear at the bottom of every slide in your presentation. Perhaps something spooky. And then, last but not least, you can check don't show on the title slide. The title slide is like the cover page of a document where you don't put a bunch of page numbers or headers or footers on it. It's just the introduction. So you can say, okay, don't put it on the title slide. And then you can apply it to the selected slide, which well, is the title. I don't want to do that. Or apply it to all the slides. Click apply to all. And it's not on slide one because that's the title. Slide two. And hey, I know it's kind of small, but it won't look like that when you go and start your presentation. Click on slideshow. Uh, well, okay, it's a little bit small, but not as small. In any case, if you want to go ahead and change it so it's bigger, badder, and beautiful, or it stands out more and not so faded with the text, looking so anorexic, let's hit the escape key. We can go to the slide master view by coming down below. Oh, no, hey, I'm going to fool you. Let's come up here to the top, go to the view tab, go to the master views group, and click on slide master. As a quick reminder, there's more than one way to get to the slide master. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the top. And what you can do is, well, on any one of these submasters, the master of this particular slide layout, the title slide, you can come down here and you've got your date, your footer, and your page number. You go ahead and apply formatting and say it's only to this layout, or you can do it for everybody, all the slides within your presentation, which is what I'm going to do. So it updates on all of them. And then come down below and select your text box. And you can come up here, click on the Format tab. You can change, let me click on the More button for the Styles and choose a style. Oh, that's not bad. Moderate Effect Purple Accent 2. Let's go ahead and select that. And what about the text inside? Let's go ahead and click in there and select the text. Get the Mini Formatting Toolbar, make it bold. You could try red. That might be a bit, oh, let me click off, see how red, oh, that's horrifying. How about if I go with right click on it, mini formatting toolbar, maybe I better stick with black. Yeah, that's okay. And let's stick with black and then let's change the size. Let's see how big I can get it without getting too big. So it pops out of that text box, 18 click off. 
Hey, looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and select the others and update those as well. And let's select that. Let's come up here and do word art. Oh, I can't even see it. How about red? Uh, white? Well, click on more. And I'm just hovering through it. It's giving me a quick overview of what it looks like. Okay, spooky, yellow. Sure. Select that. And then let's go ahead and change the size of it as well. Let me go ahead and triple click to select it. And let's see how big and spooky we can get. Well, you get the idea, right? You're just going through this and updating the text, formatting the text or the text box itself. Let's go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and click inside of it and select that little symbol there that represents the slide number. And let's see if we can increase that about yay big. And click off. Okay, it's going to be bigger than the text box, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Come down below and click on normal. And there you go. Okay, pretty crazy. It's got a shadow behind it, so it's popping out at us today's date. But it's updated on every slide except which one? The title slide, because we said don't apply it to it. And let's go back to slide two, come back up, insert, go to the text group, click on header and footer. And then if you don't want any of this, well, just go ahead and uncheck all of them. And it still remembers spooky. And then go ahead and click on apply to all, and they disappear. So we're back to where we started. Okay, second thing, let's come back up here, click on header and footer so we know how to do it for a slide, you know, what to include, date, time, slide number, and footer. How about notes and handouts? So what you do here is you look over in the preview window and you get a total of four boxes. So up at the top, you get two boxes, your header section, and of course you can check this and you'll see that it's highlighted. So the date and time is the top right, page number is checked, and that's the bottom right. And then we've got the header, which is the top left, and then the footer, which is the bottom left. And you can say, for the header, the name of our company, and the footer, we hunt for spooks. That's it. Just go ahead and apply it to all. And when you print it off, either notes, speaker notes, or handouts, that's what you're going to get at the top of every page, in the header section, and at the bottom. Let me show you. Let's come up here, click on File, go backstage, down to Print. Okay, this is the slide view. That's not a handout or a speaker note. And we can go ahead and change it from full page slides. There's your notes page. It also includes it on the outline, even though it doesn't say that as the header. It just says notes and handouts. Well, it's also on the outline, but let's go ahead and choose note pages. And there you go. Hey, gobs up at the top. You probably can't see that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and come down here and click drag to zoom it in. There you go. See that gobs? Let's scroll over, and then the date, down to the bottom, page number, left. We hunt for spooks. Let's go ahead and click on Zoom to Page. And let's come back down here, click on Notes Page to Outline. It's on the Outline page of every page that you print off. And also from Outline to, well, any handouts, whether you want one slide per page or three slides per page, and it will be on every page in that handout up at the top, the header, and in the footer section. And of course, to get rid of it, just come back to the Insert tab, Text Group, Header and Footer, same thing, Notes and Handouts, uncheck what you don't want to include, and click Apply to All, and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos, and for great specials on my products, Please see the description below this video.